Hello students, in today's video we are going to study pharmacology of uh, antiviral drugs that are used for the treatment of hepatitis B. Now hepatitis B is a liver disease. It causes inflammation or swelling of the liver. Hepatitis B is a liver infection which is caused by uh, hepatitis B virus, in short HBV. Now hepatitis B virus is a DNA virus. Now, hepatitis B viral infection can be acute or it can be chronic. Now, if the infection persists for more than six months, it is termed as a chronic hepatitis B. Now, chronic infection is treated with the antiviral drugs. Now, hepatitis B is transmitted from mother to child during delivery. It is also transmitted by contact with the infected blood, saliva, vaginal fluids and semen. Now, chronic hepatitis B, if not treated, can progress to cirrhosis of uh, liver and liver cancer. Now, in order to understand pharmacology of drugs used to treat hepatitis B, it is essential to understand replication cycle of hepatitis B virus. Uh, now, look at this figure. It explains the replication cycle of uh, hepatitis B virus. This is a liver cell or a hepatocyte and uh, this is a hepatitis B virus. Now, hepatitis B virus attaches itself to the receptors on the liver cell and uh, uh, the virus enters the liver cell by the process of uh, endocytosis. The virus uncoats itself and viral DNA is released. Now, hepatitis B virus DNA is a RC DNA that is relaxed, circular, partially double-stranded DNA. It is an incomplete DNA. Now, this viral DNA reaches the host uh, nucleus and in the host nucleus, this uh, incomplete viral DNA gets completed and it becomes uh, CCC DNA that is covalently closed circular DNA. Now, this DNA is uh, transcribed. Uh, thus, uh, messenger RNA and uh, pre-genomic pre RNA is produced. Now, this messenger RNA, it uh, attaches itself to the host ribosome and it is translated to produce the viral structural and functional proteins which are utilized to produce the viral progenies. Now, on the other hand, uh, this viral pre-genomic RNA is uh, reverse uh, transcribed to uh, viral RC DNA by the enzyme reverse transcriptase. Now, transcription is a process uh, by which RNA is synthesized from DNA, while reverse transcription is a process by which DNA is produced from RNA. So, viral enzyme reverse transcriptase converts uh, this uh, viral pregenomic RNA to viral DNA. Now, viral proteins and uh, viral DNA are assembled in the Golgi apparatus of the host to produce the uh, viral progenies and these viral progenies are then released from the host infected cell and uh, these viruses now infect the other liver cell. So, this is how uh, hepatitis B virus it uh, replicates in the host cell. Uh, now, three categories of drugs are used for the treatment of uh, hepatitis B. Uh, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, which include drugs like uh, lamivudine, then uh, entecavir, then uh, nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitors, which include drugs like uh, adifovir, tenofovir. Now, both these categories of uh, drugs, they inhibit the viral reverse transcriptase enzyme and thereby they prevent synthesis of viral DNA. Now, third type of drug that is uh, used for the treatment of hepatitis B is interferon alpha. So, now let's see to the classification of uh, antiviral drugs used for the treatment of hepatitis B. Uh, now, look at this uh, classification of uh, antiviral drugs. Now, to understand the uh, classification of antiviral drugs, we should know what are nucleotides and what are nucleosides. Now, nucleotides are the building blocks of DNA and RNA. And nucleotides consist of uh, nucleic acid, sugar and phosphate group. Whereas, nucleosides consist of nucleic acid and sugar. Thus, 
इफ न्यूक्लियोसाइड्स आर फॉस्फोराइलेटेड दे बिकम न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स सो न्यूक्लियोसाइड्स आर फॉस्फोराइलेटेड टू प्रोड्यूस न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स सो न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स एंड न्यूक्लियोसाइड्स आर असेंशियल फॉर द सिंथिस ऑफ डी एन ए नाउ एंटी वायरल ड्रग्स फॉर हेपेटाइटिस बी दे हैव स्ट्रक्चर सिमिलर टू न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स और न्यूक्लियोसाइड्स एंड दस दीज ड्रग्स दे गेट इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन टू वायरल डी एन ए वाइल इट इज बींग फॉर्म्ड एंड दिस कॉजेस चेन टर्मिनेशन एंड स्टॉप्स द सिंथिस ऑफ वायरल डी एन ए सो द ड्रग्स आर क्लासिफाइड एज न्यूक्लियोटाइड एनालॉग्स ऑल्सो नोन एज न्यूक्लियोटाइड रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेज इनहिबिटर्स now adifover and tenofover are the nucleotide analogs of adenosine monophosphate adenosine monophosphate is a nucleotide which is required for the synthesis of dna then uh, second category of drugs are uh, nucleoside analogs and uh, uh, these drugs are also known as nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors now lamivudine is a cytidine analog while antacavir is guanosine analog now beside uh, these uh, nucleotide and nucleoside analogs interferon alpha is also used in the treatment of hepatitis b so let's discuss pharmacology of uh, each class of these drugs Uh, now first category of uh, antiviral drugs for the treatment of uh, hepatitis b are nucleotide analogs uh, adifover and tenofover now as we know hepatitis b virus is a dna virus now these drugs uh, uh, inhibit replication of uh, hepatitis b virus by preventing synthesis of viral dna now in order to understand mechanism of uh, action of these drugs first of all we should know that adenosine monophosphate is a nucleotide now adifover and tenofover are monophosphate analogs of uh, adenosine monophosphate so the structure of adifover and uh, tenofover resembles the structure of uh, nucleotide adenosine monophosphate now both these drugs are administered orally and are phosphorylated these are phosphorylated to adifover diphosphate and tenofover uh, diphosphate by um, cellular kinases uh, the enzymes which are present in the host cell now adifover diphosphate and uh, tenofover diphosphate they competitively inhibit the enzyme reverse transcriptase which is also known as uh, rna dependent dna polymerase it is a dna polymerase enzyme now inhibition of uh, this enzyme uh, prevents the synthesis of viral dna from pre genomic uh, rna so uh, this uh, inhibits the synthesis of uh, viral dna and thereby uh, there is inhibition of replication of uh, hepatitis b virus now secondly as uh, adifover diphosphate and tenofover diphosphate they have a structure that resembles the structure of nucleotide adenosine uh, these drugs they get incorporated into uh, the viral dna in place of adenosine while uh, it is being formed so this results in the termination of a dna chain and this also prevents synthesis of viral dna so these drugs prevent replication of uh, hepatitis b virus uh, by inhibiting the synthesis of viral dna and are used in the treatment of uh, chronic hepatitis b and uh, uh, these are also used in the treatment of uh, lamivudine resistant cases of hepatitis b now tenofover is uh, preferred over adifover because of its higher efficacy good tolerability and lower risk of viral resistance now major adverse effect of uh, these drugs is the nephrotoxicity adifover is more nephrotoxic and uh, other adverse effects include uh headache then uh, abdominal discomfort so uh, this is the pharmacology of uh, nucleotide analogs that are used for the treatment of hepatitis b now a uh, second 
category of drugs are nucleoside analogs, lamivudine and uh, antecovir. Lamivudine is a cysteine analog while antecovir is a guanosine analog. Like nucleotide analogs, these drugs also intracellularly uh, these are phosphorylated by the host kinases and after phosphorylation these drugs also competitively inhibit viral enzyme reverse transcriptase thereby preventing synthesis of viral DNA from pre-genomic RNA. Now besides this these uh, phosphorylated drugs they get uh, incorporated in the uh, viral DNA that is being formed resulting in the termination of a DNA chain and thus viral DNA is not synthesized. So by preventing synthesis of viral DNA, these drugs prevent replication of hepatitis B virus. Now both these drugs are used in the treatment of uh, chronic hepatitis B. Now important to understand that uh, nowadays it has been found that uh, hepatitis B virus shows a high rate of resistance against lamivudine. So lamivudine is uh, not used as a first line therapy in the treatment of hepatitis B. While antecovir is effective and it is used as a first line therapy but Mm, it is not effective in lamivudine resistant hepatitis B. So it should not be used in lamivudine resistant hepatitis B. Now common adverse effects are uh, gastrointestinal uh, symptoms, fever, headache and rare adverse effects include neuropathies and uh, lactic acidosis. Now very important to understand here that uh, these drugs uh, they uh, inhibit hepatitis B virus replication but they do not eradicate the virus. So in chronic hepatitis B patient may be required to take uh, uh, treatment for a long for a very long period of time or it may be required to take the treatment lifelong. Now third type of drug is uh, interferon alpha. Interferon alpha is a cytokine. It is produced uh, in the body in response to the viral infection. Now interferons produce antiviral effect. So for therapeutic purpose interferon alpha is produced by the recombinant technology. Now pegylated interferon alpha is clinically more effective than interferon alpha. Uh, pegylated interferon alpha is the interferon alpha that is complexed with polyethylene glycol. It is absorbed more slowly and exerts more sustained effect improving the clinical efficacy. Uh, now mechanism of action. Now interferon binds to uh, specific uh, receptors on the uh, surface of uh, the cell and they produce uh, interferon induced proteins and these proteins exert antiviral effects. So these proteins uh, inhibit viral protein synthesis. Uh, they also promote uh, the breakdown of viral RNA. And in addition to this, uh, interferons also increase expression of MHC class 1 molecules. So the expression of major histocompatibility complex uh, class 1 proteins increases on the surface of infected liver cell and this causes apoptosis or programmed cell death of infected liver cells. So uh, this causes destruction of uh, viral infected host liver cells and that stops further spread of infection. Now interferon alpha is administered parenterally and it is used in the treatment of chronic hepatitis B and C. Adverse effects include occurrence of uh, flu-like uh, symptoms and uh, other toxic effects are bone marrow suppression, central nervous system effects like depressive move, mood and seizures and it is contraindicated in pregnancy as it produces teratogenic effect. So this is the pharmacology of uh, nucleo uh, side analogs, nucleotide analogs and interferon alpha that are used in the treatment of hepatitis B.
Please note information provided in this video is only for academic informative purpose. For use of these drugs or for the treatment of hepatitis B, consult your physician. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.